Aww. Cool. Well, feel free to lurk. We're going to be playing for the next few hours or so. Let me just arrange my head here. And we'll get started in just a second. My hair is still wet. This is not going to work. I'll be right back, chat. Let me do this. Use my pillow as a dryer. It's so goddamn hot today that the coolest water setting on my shower was lukewarm. It's kind of messed up. Global warming is real. Believe it. <laughs> All right. What the hell is wrong with my. There are hairs in my ears. But we have to get started, chap. This is certain. Hello and welcome, one and all, to this week's episode of Outward. When we last left off, we had just become a mage. We had learned some fancy new spells. And I was gathering some quests to do that we would save for the next episode because it was fairly late at the time that we quit ended last time. Hmm, 3 to 9 in the afternoon. Should I risk it? Well, we should at least get dressed and then we'll decide where to go from there, right? Stuff still needs to be repaired, though. Just try to pack light this time. Which I know. I say it every time I play this game. And I end up not doing it. But this is getting kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Just a little bit. I love the Living Wood X, the problem is it kind of falls apart real easily. I can't imagine they'll be able to stick with that for too long. We usually go Sword and Shield in these games, but we rarely get to go Prayer Claymore. Since we're going to be finishing up alert our lessons in the school of being a combat monk, a Jedi, if you will. I think it would behoove us to go with the prayer claymore this time. We'll always bring some arrows with us to, and some uh, ranged weapons with us to pelter the fuck out of the enemy if need be. For this purpose, I will be bringing with me the obsidian pistol since it took me a long time to make that to begin with. We're gonna bring two quivers worth of arrows. Make that three, actually. A trusty mining pick. As tempted as I am to make a bring a fishing pole, Millie, it's going pretty well. Welcome to the stream. We just got stars, so you didn't miss much. <laughs> I was just talking to myself about what I want to do for today's session. I want to head back up to the marshlands to finish up our monk our Jedi training our combat training and it's been a while since I've used a claymore so I'm gonna be using a two-handed sword style for today's session of course if we head up there to the marshlands, I mean, I will definitely need to bring some decent armor. Emphasis on the word decent is the problem. 
The Pathfinder armor, you know, seems like a good thing to invest in in the near future. Sure, a bitch and a half to make this, though. Oddly enough, the Petrified Wood Armor is mostly fire-resistant. I'm just chilling until the July 6th park, park party starts. Awesome. <laughs> Feel free to chill. Huh. Definitely need to bring the Coil Lantern with us. Life Mender's Mech Lexicon is great for electricity and... Or whatever that red circle buzzsaw thing is. But it's mostly for runic spells too, and I'm not planning on training to be a runic mage. Always want to bring at least one torch with you. If only to set people on fire with. You bought Bing Chilling earlier and it's in the freezer? You better go get that then before it spoils. <laughs> just one of these hmm we'll only bring one bag of water this time you always got to bring the rags. You never know when you want, need to kill it, when you need to kill someone. And of course, we always want to bring potions with us. All the bitter spicy teas. This is best for when we're all run, running through the desert. But it's fairly heavy. I have so many that literally cost 8 pounds. I'm going to bring half of it. Gotta watch my weight here. This is great for replacing burnt mana. Gonna bring around eight of those as well. Bring all my bandages because God knows I'm gonna be using using those things up like nobody's business. Right? Gonna be bringing the fur tent with us. This time I will not fuck up and I will bring a cooking pot with me because you know I'm gonna need that use to use one of those eventually. Bring all my pressure plate traps, all of my trip wires. Always gotta be prepared. Who goes there? Tamaris. Long time no see. Thank you for the raid. How you doing tonight? What were you guys up to? More drawing? I saw that you were still working on a comic. How's that going for you? <laughs> what else should we bring with us, chat? I think that's good for now, right? Dumped all the Hackmanite. I'm really tempted to sell all of this. All these small sapphires. But I know I shouldn't. I'm really tempted to sell this ruby, too. Get me some more money. But we got plenty of money, don't we? I think there's someone over in the forest that can build something me up, that can build stuff out of palladium, so I'm tempted to bring this with me, but we'll keep that here too. I'm gonna be converting all of my gold, I'm gonna be bringing all of my gold with me again. Because you know, I'll be needing to pay the monks for, my, for their services as usual. Capitalism prevails, evidently. Mm, I think we can afford to keep spikes with us. Welcome, raiders. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. I forgot to do the thing. 
Let us do the thing. Always got to remember to do that. <laughs> All right. to bring like, just a little bit of salt so that in case we need to cook anything we can do so I know by a little bit of salt I mean 10 things of salt right but and of course you need rations to actually travel across the world to like change locations and stuff so oh shit that was way too heavy too many rations chat we'll have to deal with 10 for now oh and that's a lot I always have a tendency to carry too much stuff with me, don't I? It is certainly a problem. But wait, what's this? Oh yeah, I still have not decided on what armor I'm going to be wearing. I'm not going to go out there butt naked. More drawing, all sketches for the 8 issue run are, got, are GTG. Good to go. Worked on inside cover layout, story thus far, content warnings, etc. And then worked on the covers for one and a half covers. Nice, I'm glad this... I'm, Glad to see your progress thus far. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Had a bit of a strange interaction with a viewer. Gotta go back and see what actually went on because they made a tweet and have made it a bit of a thing. Um, I'm guessing a bad in a bad way? Is that what you're implying? Or I'm sorry that there was some drama in your chat. Hmm. From the way the music changed, I'm assuming it's nighttime right now in game. Hmm. Pathfinder armor is resistant to poisons, is it? Has decent durability. Impact resistance is crap, though, which means if someone clubs me, I'm going to get clubbed. Big time. But from a purely... Mana... It's not that big of a deal. I'm going to try wearing the Pathfinder armor this time. But as regard to what kind of helm should I wear? Purple festive hat? Enough of a thing to mention, but big shrug. What's the game about? Oh, we're playing Outward. Outward takes place in a crazy fantasy world. Where the first thing that happens is that you're shipped wrecked and you are and th you're being threatened with being evicted from your home, so you're forced to go out into the wild blue into the wild world to collect some money to pay off your rent. If you fail, you literally get kicked out of the house, and from there you can either choose to follow three mentors across the entire world to continue your quest line and to join a, one of three separate factions, or you can do whatever the hell you wanted. I've been playing this game for over 60 hours now and several sessions and we only just recently actually continued the quest line because I figured it's time and also because I want to buy houses in other locations. Right now I'm just deciding on what I want to do for today's stream. I always have a set of like goals to try and um, go for and we've been really lucky lately and been reaching all of our goals that I set for each of the streams. So hopefully, this will not be any different. Right now though, I do have a severe problem with indecisiveness. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what I armor set I even want to wear when I go outside my doors this time. Maybe I should instead ask what my plans are. What, uh, 
So I need to head back to Levant and talk to Cyrene about the bullshit that just happened here at the Blue Chamber. I can find some golem scraps to feed to Ogai, who is going to make me something. I don't think I'm strong enough to kill a Manticore yet. I want. I know I can. I could probably defeat this this quest here, but only if I'm strong enough to fight and kill a Super Wendigo, which I clearly am not. I'm wondering though if I can handle if the Palladium armor would help in that regard, but. I wonder how many hack my knights Levant will need to build this tenebrous armor, whatever that is. Funky fresh? Indeed, it can be sometimes. <laughs> Once I decide on my course of action, I'll show you, you'll get to see what it's like to actually run around in the world. Alright, now for the leg gear. It's probably still cold outside, which means I'm going to freeze to death to try, just trying to get out of Serzo and heading off into the wild blue yonder. So that's something I should take into account as well. The Amalite armor is so good against cold, for whatever reason, and also has so much impact resistance. Also, it hurts people when they attack me, which is a nice touch. It just looks so bulky. Like, really bulky. It's, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Given all the stuff I'm carrying with me, I can't exactly carry two sets of armor this time, like I used to. I could probably drop it if I return some of these. Not like I'm not go not like I'm not going to make collect more on our travels anyway. Gonna carry my claymore in my pocket. And also my bow. And we'll equip that. Alright. So this works out a little bit better. I've managed to rescue some best of luck in your adventures. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the lurk also. I don't have a lurk command right now, but uh, I, it's, it is much appreciated. <laughs> All right. We definitely need to head back to Levant. Whether I like it or not, I'm definitely going to be needing some anti-heat armor. So I guess we'll just have to use the Petrified Wood Helm after all. Gorgeous. Not as resistant, however, against the cold. So a little bit sus. Since we have to go to bed tonight anyway. 
I should probably... Oh, nope, I already decided I was going to be using this. Since we're going to be using two-hand sword style this time, let's go ahead and put some two-hand attacks here. Including pommel counter. Going to put sweep kick here. Should be interesting. Can't use any of these skills because I don't have an axe. Force push will be an R. Enrage. That'd be interesting. Alright. I think we're ready. I wonder what the sweep skill looks like anyway. Oh, that's interesting. Fairly fast too. And that's force push. Okay. Let's go to bed chat. Then we will head out first thing in the morning. It just occurred to me, I can't collect fresh water from the water purifier in town because some bastard has sabotaged it. It's starting to look like regardless of what I, how I feel about the situation, I will in fact need to head back to Levant because that's where we can buy power cells. Something tells me we will not make it without incident, though. That's okay. That's how this game usually goes. I should definitely make some meat stews before I leave. Maybe some omelette stew. Just gonna dump everything here into my inventory. We're gonna crawl downstairs to see what can be made out of it. So this has been a while. Oh sh did I put I did. I accidentally used one of my skill slots. Here we go. Can make a bunch of miners omelet. And some meat stews.
Perhaps too much meats to you, actually. Shit. <laughs> You're definitely not going to go hungry, chat. Not that we've ever been in danger of going hungry before. 30 meat stews, though? That's overkill. Don't have any more gobbler jam. So we're going to be keeping that. We'll bring about half of that. And maybe 10 meat stews. We can replace these just fine. Don't need all these eggs either. I've managed to rescue a great deal of room. Make some spikes, please. Some spire iron spikes for my traps. Last but not least, we do need to convert this silver back into gold so it's easier to carry. Would like to make some life potions, but I don't know if I have the ingredients to make life potions, do I? I stand corrected. We have plenty of ingredients after all. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Oh? Was I wrong? Blood mushrooms. Got plenty of those too, I believe. Sometimes being a hoarder is not such a bad thing. It pays off. If you know what you're doing, of course. If you don't, well, shit sucks. There we go. Turns out it was a good idea that good idea to bring all this water to dump all this water in my trunk after all. There we go. Alright. Onward and upward, chat. Let us go on adventure. Preferably without, without freezing our tits off outside. But you know, sometimes beggars really cannot be choosers. the general store really quick to exchange all our silver into gold so it's easier to carry. Is there something you need? No way. They actually have padded boots in stock. Which means we could finish our amylite armor after all. Let's purchase that. See if there's anything else of notes available. Doesn't look like it, though. It's really neat that I'll be able to finish the Amulite armor today. The whole Amulite set. Hey there. I might be forced to actually use that stuff after all. 
you know, just to break it in a bit. I'm not really against that. What's the point of, of crafting all this junk if you can't use it? Miss, really missing that extra stamina though that I burned up to turn into magic. Like that, I now have Amlite boots. Decent cold water defense gives you a damage bonus of plus five percent. If you couldn't tell, this is great for like cold location. I'd look pretty stupid, but it's fairly useful, so. Get a move on, chat. Adventure is out there. recovery. I need something for... I also need something for fatigue recovery. I guess you need to eat raw meat for that, but I thought that eating meat stew would so serve the same purpose. It's a shame that I was mistaken in that regard. What could I do for you? All right. Nothing of great interest here, evidently. Just the things that I've sold them before in the past, which I've not been able to make good use of myself. Greetings, friend. Nothing too interesting here as well. Let us be off then. We head eastward, back to Levant, and through the Enmerker Forest. Let's see if there's any quests I can pick up on the way there, though. What could I do for you? Is there something you need? Can you help with this? Here you go, see? Excellent. We're gonna try and take a shortcut chat. Since we're heading towards... This is a shortcut, I think. Nah, it's not. We're just gonna go straight there. It's been a while since I sent it to use two-handed swords, so I hope I don't embarrass myself. You never know, though. Need something? Waiting on some sc- My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Serzo.
And off we go, chap. This another beautiful day in the neighborhood. an awe-inspiring place. Honestly. What spawned this time? Basic items. Disposable lanterns are always good, you know, for use as a flamethrower. Climbing a mountain was a bitch and a half, but we made it in the end, and that's what matters. God, if this place is not beautiful, though. And I say that every time I play. Do uh, which direction is it again? Howled Marsh, Vigil Tower. It's weird how I keep getting lost. And I was wrong. If we had taken the exit out, we'd have probably exited around... Yeah, a little bit farther away, actually. Going to Enmerker Forest, then. Vanda Camp, right? Yeah, that's to the Vanda Camp. Already cleaned that place out a while ago. Don't feel the need to clean it out right now. That could change, but who's waiting for that? Oh dear, it appears we're getting cold again. It's alright though. We're nearly to our destination. 
No need to waste some tea when we're going to be there fairly soon. Unless I get lost again. Got some bandits over there. Do I dare fight them and collect their spoils for my own? I guess that's not a bad idea. I need to get more, need to relearn how to use the sword anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the easy mook first though. Oh man, I've just realized my first mistake. I should have really hotkeyed this. He is fairly easy to kill though, all things considered. Give me your arrows, give me your silver, give me this. I'm not gonna bother grabbing your bow anymore. I forgot how to use that properly too. You need to time stuff like that, you know? Oh, well, well, well. Force push is quite useful after all. For a moment there, I was afraid that would be limited use. Without, you know, combining it with other spells and whatnot. Actually... We can go ahead. It's not that big of a deal yet. I am getting cold. And my mana has been reduced slightly. I've already healed up the little damage that I've taken from that encounter. We must teabag at least once per session chat. It's good for you. Hi there. Yeah, you better... Oh man, that was a waste of stamina. Still too far away. Bird didn't even do any damage to me that time. Well, it did a little bit. We will make breakfast out of you soon. Let us go ahead and head off into Enmerka Forest. Enmerka Forest is full of forests, as the name implies. Onwards and upwards, chat. To a high adventure. Interesting that it actually gives you the option to select a different place. Even there's only one place in this direction. Berg. Angry Berg. It's gonna be good. We are back. Lovely place, isn't it? Let's go ahead and make our way directly for the city of Berg, complete our missions, swap out our materials, and then plan our next move. Perhaps kill some mooks along the way. I need more practice with my two-hander. A lot more practice.
This must be one of the lonely towers. I got around five pounds left. I could probably handle it. Picking up some more loot. I see a ghost knight over there. Assuming I don't fuck up, I should be able to take him fairly easily as well. Now, one of the dangers of carrying the set I'm wearing right now is I don't have much in the way of fire resistance since that was in the uh, chest, plate, chest piece that I left behind. We'll just have to deal with it. Just don't get hit, forehead. Hmm, ghosties. Always a fun time. But we must practice. And besides, I got a present for them. Yeah, ghosts do not like fire magic, as it turns out. The heavy attack on the two-handed weapons are strange. I took a beating from that one. As it turns out, it ate up a lot of my stamina just fighting him. I also forgot to eat and to drink. But otherwise, a satisfying end. I didn't know there was a crypt down here, actually. I should probably return here after I empty out my stuff back in town, but you know me. I like to get really, I like to be nosy. Honestly, it doesn't look like there's much down here anyway. A single ghost? That's no big deal. Two ghosts. Alright. The chances of me getting gang banged here are fairly high, unfortunately. I think he's detected my presence. Oh no, he's called over his friend. We've accidentally fallen to our doom? Or did we? Let's go ahead and... Actually, this is bad still. Am I injured? Like, legit injured? Wind magic is... Are you fucking kidding me? You know, as much as Seth likes to make fun of the AI in this game, I was not expecting them to just walk around and hit me from behind. I should definitely have just relied on traps. Let's see what happened or where I'm going to respawn. Looks like Geb has saved my ass once again. He's always doing that. Nice guy. 
Burned up some of my fire magic doing that, or messing around with that. Not to mention a bunch of my potions. That was over here in the Lonely Tower, right? So we're currently at the windmills. Particularly over here. Hey, Ash. How you doing tonight? Good evening. <laughs> now, I forget. Did I already loot the old windmill? I probably did. It's only one in the afternoon. You're doing well? The Uncle Roger stream lasted for a solid five hours? I guess we all are. Great minds think alike and all that, right? Looks like this chest has respawned. Created iron, uh, iron axe, a bunch of salt. Ooh, a new recipe. I don't need this though. Guess I'll tear this apart for parts, or I can sell this. I got room. <laughs> yeah, I guess everyone just likes Uncle Roger, but especially our group, I feel like, would be super into Uncle Roger for obvious reasons. I remember the last time I went to the Cabal of the Wind Tower, I got my ass kicked as well. I'll definitely need more preparation before going into there. Since I'm so far away from the Lonely Tower, I might as well head, just go ahead and head to the city of Berg. Oh. Just my luck. Horrors. I'm not gonna play fair with these things, that's for damn sure. Is this pathing uh, messed up or something? Hmm. Sure is taking a while to get over here. Oh, that's why. Uh, need to cancel that. Well, if it's just one, I should be able to take it. Maybe. Emphasis on maybe. Or I could just walk over my spike trap somehow, which was satisfying. Man, weren't these things harder than that to kill? Maybe I misjudged them. Watch this, the next one's gonna kick my ass, I'm sure. Where'd it go? Wasn't it here earlier? There you are. Well, why wait for it to come over here? Why not just... Clever girl. All right, fine. That didn't do much in the way of damage, did it, chat? Use some cold magic this time to give us a slight edge since we're not using traps. Actually, did a fair amount of damage just now. They're also a lot smaller than I thought. Maybe these are just juveniles. Feels like I'm playing Monster Hunter almost. Editor's note, I've never played Monster Hunter. <laughs> Two in the afternoon? 
Why is it getting dark? Is that just my imagination? Oh, it's raining. I see how it is. Okay. Well, let's continue. There's two more horrors over there that I can hunt. I'm going to play it smart and lay some traps here for them. I need to get rid of some of these things anyway. Did you have fun with the highest stream though? Ow. Okay, that was not my brightest move. In fact, I'm fairly sure that was quite dumb what I just did just now. Seriously, what are, where is my mind running sometimes? Come on. No way, are you healing? Oh, that's just disgusting. God, I don't know why I did that. I should have just gone the bow out and just finished them off. No, it's fine. I like spending time being rescued repeatedly by... Oh! It's you again. I can't see where my pack is. How many times does this make, my guy? That you've saved my ass. But he doesn't respawn here. Is he just gone for good, or what? He has so many good items, too. Godberry wine. Lightning. Another living wood axe. I could sell this one, since I already have one back home. I could sell all this stuff, actually. And I could go back out there to have my ass kicked yet again, or I can head back to head to town like I originally planned. What's over here? Actually, I needed those. Oh, more of them. It's like the game is telling me here you get another you get a redo. If I'm smart about it anyway. Get out of here. On top of that, all my mana is gone. Sadly. An arcane hood? 
That could have been useful earlier. Burning tree. My favorite place. It's right over there. I do believe that's a bandit. He almost got the drop on me. See shit. Why didn't he kill me? I should probably. Oh no, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I respond right in. Really? Game is being just being extra now, you know? Ah, oh, fucking shit. That the using a heavy attack on this thing is difficult, man. I can't believe that actually worked, but I was using, I was using it as the description, as the description suggested. I was able to block that attack just now too, for some reason. Fighting my for my life here, aren't I? This is truly a duel of the fates we've got going on here. I have like no stamina. I dare not reach for my stamina potions either because I got a counter ready. But only if he hits me. And I need to time it just right. And I suck at that, apparently. I think he realizes what I'm about to do, too, because he is... Are you fucking kidding me? My god, the timing in this game is frustrating as shit. No wonder Seth doesn't want to deal with it. He just spams long weapons or puts traps everywhere.
Is he... He is re-healing. Great. And I appear to be entirely out of potions. Oh, wait. That's because they're over here. Okay. Ah, got you now, bitch! Wait, is this the leader? Is that why this guy is so hard? Big if true. Big if true. I won't feel as bad about losing to this guy several times if that's the, honestly the case. But I definitely need better abilities because this is not cutting it anymore. I have the high ground, Anakin. Literally. Oh, by the way, I just healed all of my stamina. I can't believe that worked. That really shouldn't have worked. He also had a prayer short too. It took three tries, but... We finally got him. Gentlemen, we got him. A marsh captain. He actually has some decent stuff. He even has Pathfinder boots. And... Cool, that goes with my Pathfinder armor. So, we can go ahead and wear that. And a simple tent. Can I? Am I overburdened again? Great, thanks. Glad I kept this stuff on my hand after all. Still, he meets the guy that tried to plan the attack on Bird here. Delicious, as my friend Agatha likes to say. I'll keep the tent here. It might prove useful uh, later. It took a really long time, but I did eventually prevail against this guy, and I wonder if he will respawn. Winter! Magandang umaga. The music is, is epic, right? I thought the music for the uh, first town, the first section was pretty good, but the music for the second one is a close second. <laughs> you just missed me get my, lose my, uh, get my ass kicked three times by the same boss. But the game kept responding to me right in front of him, so I was forced to fight him three more times until I finally won. Ass? Is that what? Is this what you're looking for? He did drop um, Pathfinder boots, so I got to wear those. Wearing the clothing of your fallen enemy. I think I'm going the right direction. I recognize this area. Fighting with two-handed weapons in this game is really hard. But it feels more satisfying than just hiding behind a shield the whole time. I say as I casually get my ass handed to me several times. Oh! Speak of the devil, more bandits. I'm lazy. I don't want to fucking deal with this right now. Oh my god. Let's take out the archer first.
You did not- Oh, God. I think he sees me. Yeah, yep, yep, he did. And he's dead. Bitch, motherfucker, if you kill me, I'm going to... Fuck off, please. Just fuck... No, damn it. Ah. Why didn't I hotkey my claymore? Why am I stupid like this? Come on, hit me, hit me! Get bashed in the face with a fucking... There we go. I have ended you rightly, as uh, Scholargrim likes to say. Now, where's your archer, buddy? Um, there appears to be a deer fighting a giant, chat. Whoever wins, I win. I'm going to loot the body afterwards. I could really use some deer meat, though. Oh, it looks like the deer uh, deer is uh, still alive, actually. This is take this battle is taking a lot longer than I expected. Where's the archer bandit that was with here? Did he run off, or did he get killed by the? He probably got killed by the um giant. Oh, he's only at half health. That did not do shit to him. Or her. The giant is like, I've had enough of your shit today, shit today, human. It looks like the other bandit is uh, attempting to help me out. He is targeting the giants right now. I, this should give me enough time to switch to my... Fuck you, too, bandit. Seriously. Don't you see... That we must join forces against a greater threat. Up, oh, up, oh, that bandit's certainly dead. Okay, uh, deploy this. Oh, crap, crap! I don't think I was able to arm it in time. If at first you don't succeed, just spam pressure play traps. Where is my trap? Where is the trap? It's going to take too long to arm before he gets to me. I'll definitely need magic for this one. Cool. It's been it's been armed. All right. Cool. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh. Yes, that's right. Step into the trap. Come on. Come on. It's your friend. That didn't do much damage to it, did it? But at least it's on fire now. That should count for something, right? You like fire, right? Fire is your friend, right? Hmm? Come on. Oh, that works too, I guess. Ow. Ow. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, man. Giants are faster than they appear. The game has finally had pity on me and just dragged me back to town. It was like, you know what? You're done. Stop trying to fight random NPCs. We're just gonna, we're just gonna respawn you. Ah, <laughs> uh, my food's probably rotten. He helped his helped himself to my silver? What do you mean my oh great, all my silver is gone. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Well, I guess it could be worse. At least they nursed me back to health.
We are once again back in the city what? of Bur The youngest prince of Levant has been murdered. How dare you? Oh god. Oh no. Come on. Hmm. Uh oh. Remember this. Oh no. Well, I know what I must do. Apparently, I will be needing. I'll need to go through the desert to find the person who killed Levant, uh, killed the son of the Kingdom of Levant. But before we do that, let's finish a few errands out here, shall we? Can I help you? You've earned this. Hmm, a medium ruby. How can I help you? Alright. Actually, if I sell the ruby back in Levant, they'll be paying me a lot more. But... I do have a little too much on me right now. I do need to unload some of this cargo before we head our way back to the desert. To the faction I joined and immediately regretted after the first plot mission, or first uh, faction mission. For spoilery reasons. Hey there. Yeah then. Don't need that. I guess if I sell this in Levant, they'll pay me more. But um, I don't know. That's really that's putting a lot of faith in me making it to Levant in one piece, and I have a bad habit of going off the rails, as you've all seen so far. This has fairly okay hot defense. Six. Certainly more than the petrified wood boots. It's nine in the evening. We might be able to make it there to Levant in one piece. Emphasis on the might. Ah, all of my goods. Bags overweight again? Well, that's just prime. Raw meats. Some foods, some weather defense potions. More rags. Do I have plenty of bandages? I should probably be checking if I have enough water first. Um, I should be able to make it there on three things of water, actually. My greed's gonna be my downfall, I swear to god. Let's try and make it chat. Actually, let's uh, collect some fresh rain water first and then we'll head out. It's obvious the game where the game wants me to go anyway. I need to go find this priest of the desert or what have you. Figure out why it was that he murdered a child. I also need to purchase a power coil while I'm Levant anyway. A power coil in a fantasy game? It's more likely than you think. What do you think is powering my lantern right now?
It's dangerous to travel at night, but it must be done. Since a new quest line started up, I really would rather not dilly dally because this game is timed. Timed quests, you know. We're gonna be going this way. We're gonna be heading to the east or southeast. I do have quite a bit of food on me that I should consume. That's what I forgot to do. I was going to go ahead and deposit my petrified wood boots here. Looking respectfully, always, always look respectfully, chat. Looking for stuff here to sell. Okay, we can make it now. I think. What happened to all my stews? Did they all rot away? Because I was dead. I was getting killed so much. They must have because they are missing from my inventory. Well, that fucking sucks. All of my food is gone, champ. Every last bit. Uh, at least I still have a cooking pot, so I could just make more later. But god, all of my food. All of it. I'm exploiting the game. How am I doing so? Because food only rots when it's in inventory in the bag that you're carrying. So these, I could put food in these bags and leave them in the ground and they will stay fresh forever. It's like some advanced magical form of, like, refrigeration. Some technology amazing. All right, then. Am I lost again? No, that could change fairly fast though because I'm already confused. Oh, there it is. I know there's a bandit there, but I can't see him very well. I will pay you guys 50 silver to fuck off. Seriously. Can you take a hint? Am I out of out of uh, stamina already? Damn. 
One second. That's one down. Yeah, and I wasted that skill. Did I waste that one, though? Like seriously, my stamina is, re is recovering so slowly, it's kind of insane. All it took was one heavy attack. <laughs> okay, speed run high and buy message cause sleep. I, I, how, how, yeah, have a great stream and good luck. See you, Christian. Thanks for stopping by. I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me, though. It's fairly annoying, let me tell you. That's how it is sometimes. As it turns out, who the fuck? Oh. Hi there. Ah, bitch ass motherfucker. get used to it. Patience, young Padawan. I'm honestly not doing very good at the patience part. I haven't done this poorly in afterward in a few sessions now. But that's also how long it's been since I've used a two-hand weapon like this. Which has some special considerations to be that is to consider before using. Bruh, I hope my rations didn't vanish. Okay, I still have travel rations. Okay. Onward to Levant, chat. Onward to Levant. <sighs> we will not be needing a lantern for this one. Oh, 
Well, 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 look what is here to greet me. A nice jewel bird. Hey, is there a man here? Talk to the robed man. That's new. Wait, what? This is troubling. That was really fast. I didn't expect to see him to find him so quickly. I don't know if I believe you, robed man. <laughs> Where is this meetup point? Listen to me. Near the giant insect hives, there's an old prison and a cave. I know some bandits sometimes use it. Used to use it to stash goods or people they want to get rid of. My contact used that place for us to meet up. Can you help with this? Really? This is troubling. Wait, what? How dare you? Do I have to kill a motherfucker? Wait, what? This is troubling. I guess not. It is fairly late in the evening. Two four early in the morning, 2.46. I could head, head over there right now to the giant hives to see if I can find this cave. But I'm carrying a lot of garbage here that I need to unload first. So let's head over to the city of Levant, dump our stuff, and then we'll see about getting some justice for Jaden. Oh! I forgot. Forgot about these little guys. I also forgot that they're fairly intelligent. That didn't do much damage to him, did it? Really? Did you just confuse me? Asshole. All right, you know what? Fighting with two-handed swords and right now is more difficult than it has to be. I don't understand why I'm having such a hard time fighting these things that I used to cleave through fairly fast. I think it's because I only have one like attack I can actually use on them, which is a counter. While when I back when I had my shield and sword, I had like three different moves I could use at once. So now I'm fighting my for my life here. Because I'm debuffed. And I only have one move I can use on this thing, and I don't have any stamina. Okay, cool. He's stuck behind a wall. Let's make use of this. He's going from around behind me again, isn't he? Or he's gonna try and clip me through the wall. Yep, saw that coming. I don't have an endurance potion anymore. I do have Geb Strength, though. Which is better than nothing, I guess.
I wonder what which one of these magics is good against this guy. Why is this thing so hard to kill? God damn. Feels like every fight now is a boss battle. My stamina regeneration is so low that I'm just kind of annoyed. Not gonna lie. I don't have any food with me right now. Can't eat that raw. Did it hide again? Is it... Hiding again. Is that what it's doing? We're going to do a little trolling chat. And by trolling, I mean I just cast every buff spell in my inventory. Ow. Are you healing yourself? Cringe. Cringe. I'm out of stamina again. Doing melee without all that stamina I had I enjoyed earlier in the game is really annoying. There's no leveling in this game. That's the thing. You can be killed by a level 1 bandit just as easy in, in the end game just as easily as you can in the beginning. If you don't kill them quickly or if you're not paying attention. And I just got teleported to town, thankfully. But some time did pass and my claymore is broken. You see, that's just insult to injury now. I guess I'll have to sell it and use the one I picked off that boss that I killed earlier. Can I help you? This worries me. Oh, of course, yes. They're going to pay 14 silver for it when you would normally pay 90. Yes, thank you, game. Wait, that's a chef. Why am I selling it to a chef? At least my old tent is still here where I left it. Along with all my other stuff here. All my items and such. Unfortunately, none of this can repair my pride right now. What? Oh boy. Hmm.
Yeah, it's a very hard game. I was doing so well for so long, too. But, yeah, I definitely need better skills. If I'm going to use two-hand weapons, I really just cannot do the whole... Oh, we're just going to be using counter-attack moves. I need offensive moves, too. Just attacking with my... Because just attacking with my plane thing is clearly not working. Can I repair a broken... Or do I have to actually go to the... We need to check this out first. Listen. Oh boy. All right. All right. Okay. Did you repair all my equipment? Cool, you did. Awesome. I'm glad that still works after all. Listen. Now oh then. Give me your monies. Cool. Monies has been given. What else can I sell here? filter mask and the pathfinder mask to complete the set the pathfinder set that's actually really cool An assassin claymore? Golem rapier. Manticore dagger. Manticore great mace. Great pick. Obsidian great mace. Obsidian mace. There's no decent weapons here that I like. I wonder if the assassin claymore is like... A claymore, claymore? What am I saying? Of course it's a claymore. I want to get the Pathfinder mask though, but I might end up finding it later. So there's probably not really a point. Can I help you? No, oh, this is troubling. How much are your paracoils, my good sir? Yeah, it's expensive. Give me one paracoil. And I guess you better teach me how to build bullets too, because I sure as hell am not going to just buy them straight up. Alright, what's the secret to making bullets? Oil and iron scrap makes bullets, you know? That actually makes a whole lot of sense. I don't know why I didn't arrive at that conclusion myself. How 
can I help? This is troubling. Since I'm here anyway, I might as well go ahead and talk to you. What's your face and complete that quest, huh? Oi! You! I need a report on what happened in Berg. I know. It was a trap. I barely got out with my life. You've been framed? Great. Not on your life! The Blue Chamber has already sent us a declaration of war uh, because of this mess. Great. Even though I almost prevented the entire attack, it's clear Levant is not responsible. This, uh, needs thinking about. Get to the bottom of this. Thanks. Then again. Oh, we made some money. That wasn't so bad, I guess. Did she even taught me how to make spicy from ring. Can I finally buy a house here to live in? The wiki said that you can do that once you complete this quest. At least the guy has left this area. Who do I have to talk to to get a house in this city? Damn. Go talk to the king and queen, I guess. See what they have to say for themselves. How can I help you? Oh, no. Come on. Simeon Scambit? What the hell does Simeon Scambit do? I gotta look this up. Actually. Money is tight. I can't afford to buy skills that I don't need or I can't use. So this is only if you have a love. Hmm. This is only if you have a spear, though. This weighs on my mind. This weighs on my mind. I didn't know there was a place you could explore over here. I actually didn't know you could explore any of this. It's an undercity passage. How can I help you? Prince Prieto? I'm guessing this is not the prince that was just murdered, huh? No, I suppose it wouldn't be. God knows where this leads.
What can I do for you? I'm honestly really tempted to go mercenary. sure if this is worth it. Makes you run faster. whoop de do. But it does consume less stamina, which is kind of important. Especially for me right now. with you. I mean, honestly. That should help. Mushrooms on hand? Well, a couple. Let's go make ourselves some life potions, chat. Been doing this a lot more frequently now. I guess it's kind of necessary since I'm kind of getting myself fucked over right now. get the player house again let's check that really quick I need to complete this quest in order to get the house. So, okay, I see. That's how it's gonna be, huh? I really need to pack lighter though. This is getting kind of ridiculous. Like way lighter.
Let's see if this helps a little bit. Really wish I brought my elite desert helmet with me. I wasn't thinking properly. We'll have to make do like we usually do. As always. I think I'm gonna go a little bit rogue-like this time. So much crap to carry though. We need to make room. Alright, that'll have to do. We'll need to try and avoid combat this time. Just a little bit. But first, we need to go ahead and find this cave. Figure out who it is that did everything. Dumped as much stuff out of my bag as I could afford so I can carry home the spoils of war, but it was implying that there would be spoils available. These things aren't very heavy. Wondering if I should have left my pot again, though. And my fur tent's probably too hot for this weather, honestly. We'll have to see what we can make do with 25 pounds it's dark out so we shouldn't have to deal with the heat all that much we're going in this general direction with the colossal hives I'm hungry apparently there we go Stamina boosting. Wow, that's actually fairly strong. Marshmallow tartine. I need to remember that. So calm here in the middle of the evening. That's not a good sound. Oh, another jewel bird. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you better run. Bitch. Honestly, though. Yeah? Why am I not firing? That's weird. Is it glitched? Oh no, 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 no. It's not glitched, is it? Oh, it was glitched. Damn. I was able to get out of it, though. And that completely missed. Yeah. 
Why do I suck at this so much? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I ended up killing the bird in the end. Worth. Totally worth. <sighs> totally. I begin to understand now why there are so many bullets in this area, though. We've been avoiding the cocoon, giant cocoon hives for this whole game, and now we finally get to see what they're like. What horrifying creatures lay within. How many times will I be teleported out from sheer dying? Ah, uh, not again. For fuck's sake. Bastard. That felt good. Not gonna lie. So it looks like the key to using this is to pretty much counter with the pommel. Sw swing the swack to hit the shit out of them. And then use sweep anytime they try to recover. Now then, there's supposed to be a cave system around here. Palladium. It's a good thing I brought my pickaxe after all. That's definitely... Some horrors. Some cacti. Let's eat some fruit here. Chat, always remember to eat your fruits and vegetables. An ornate chest? I didn't know this was here. Some fairly good loot. Ah, the Immaculate's Camp. I didn't know this was here either. He's camping inside a banned ruin? Where is he at? He's not here this time. Hmm. It's like he never showed up again after the last few times. I guess nowadays he just keeps me alive. I mean, I guess he can't be angry at that. Need to keep fine looking for this cave system if it can in fact be found.
Starting to slowly get back to the swing of things. Of how to properly play this game without sucking as much. Another small sapphire? You're too kind. Pretty cold in the desert. Aha! There you are, you little bastard. You're still confused, aren't you? Well, I have a surprise for you. This game reminds me in a very violent manner that trying to play this fairly is asking to die repeatedly. This game will not play fairly with you. Aw oh, man, this confusion wore off. That's fine. This should be a fair amount, I would think. And we're going to debuff him as well with this. And I just wasted that. Of course. you in the end. Oh, Mantis Granite. I hope that's worth what I had to go through to get it. At this point, I could just take a break right now. Take a nice sleep. It's cold tonight anyway, which makes me Kind of glad that in the end I decided to bring my fur tent with me after all. There's something funny about the fact that I'm actually setting up fire a camp here in a desert. But you know what? Might as well. It's freezing my tits out here. Can you cook cacti? You probably can't. We can make some meat stews, if we so wished. Needles tea and mineral tea. I don't have any mineral teas, so that could be helpful. This makes you run faster. And we stuck with a confusion for a while, unfortunately. Or at least another 70 seconds, so I can probably wait that long. Maybe.
The yeah, just really don't recover that much health, do they? I'm glad I know how to make spicy meringue now. Alright. Let's not wait in the evening. Times are wasting. We should go find this cave while we still can. Supposedly, it's fairly close to the entrance of all these big hives. I never encountered these creatures before, so I don't know what to even expect, honestly. Well, those don't look spooky at all, right? Whatever those things are. Are they like egg sacs? Hmm. Big and glowing. It's a giant rib cage down there. Not a giant's rib cage, but a, gi a gigantic sized rib cage. I can't help but feel like I am intruding on. The dwellings of peoples who will utterly annihilate me if I cross them the wrong way. Searching blindly for this cave. Huh, clean water. That's unexpected. Maybe these things are more civilized than I take them for? Seems unlikely. I keep waiting for something to pop up, pop out, pop up out of me, pop, pop, motherfucker, I cannot speak. Pop, pop out of me. Pop, pop, pop out at me. While here. Turn on my lantern to be able to see a little bit better. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's just surreal. You don't see something like stuff like this in other video games chat. Now, where is this cave? What are those things? Whatever they are, I cannot imagine that they are friendly. North of the largest hive. Okay. So we're in the right track at the very least, right? North of the largest hive. So that's probably the largest hive. Given that it's being... Appears to be guarded by these... I guess those must be insects? Hmm. We'll need to find a way around them. We're actually getting cold again. Imagine that. We must attempt at all possibility to avoid annoying the locals. There's even a safe zone here. We could actually stop and rest if we really wanted to. It's weird how they put, pop those right next to enemies. I could either enter the ancient hive, or I can go around it and find this 
thing, but I have a bad feeling about this chat. I feel almost like the intention for the game is for me to enter the hive. Well, see what's inside it at the very least. Oh, man. Oh, that's a good sign. The insects are currently fighting each other for dominance. I wonder if that was intentional or if that's just the game glitching out again. No skin off my back, I guess. Let them fight it out. Oh man, there's a lot of insects too. The rock mantis is fighting the fire, be fire beetles while an assassin bug over here is also fighting the... Check this out. There's even more over here. At this rate, all the NPCs are just going to kill each other before I can get to any of them. That is totally fine by me, chat. Sure is a lot of loot I can loot now, though. Are they not in hostile to each other? Is that what's going on over there? What the shit? Did they just... In the south of Abasaur, north of the largest hive is a small prison. Tank Bear Claw, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the hydro video. Let me do that right now. During the load screen. How are you doing tonight? Actually, I should also do play my Duolingo really quick. Give me a second, chat. <laughs> Learning Japanese. Or trying to, anyway. It goes fairly slow, all things considered. Okay, one more lesson, and we can continue with the game. Nine, 
Okay, that's out of the way. Let's get back to the game chat. North of the largest hive. It's somewhere around here, chat. It is not, like, right there. It's definitely down here somewhere, and I just missed it. Be best if we took out these guys from a distance. If I could just fucking aim... How much health do they have? Wow. Okay. That much health, apparently. These scary motherfuckers. Scary, but thankfully not very durable. Scattered around here is the cave system we seek, chat. North, it said, of the big ass hive. Must be careful, though. Oh, yeah, those are ranged attackers. Forgot about that. Why is the music still going? Killed them. Come on now. Is it bugged? Fine, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna kill all of them. Do some extermination. Who's my next victim? This guy over here that's stuck on the... It actually did a fair amount of damage to it, all things considered. It actually set it on fire! And it actually- oh my god, it's gonna burn to death. It burned to death. Ow! As it would turn out, this obsidian pistol was worth every penny. And yeah, it sets people on fire. What more can you ask for, right? Kind of dull, though. But it is a gun in a game full, in a universe full of swords and shields, so I guess I can't ask for much. Now, where is that small prison that they are talking about? Is it down here? I see some cages. It's most likely in this area, and I just don't know what it looks like.
It's still kind of weirded out that there's actually a thing of drinkable water that's just sitting here. For no apparent reason. It was here this whole time, wasn't it? It's this hive prison thing. I must have missed it when it was dark. Oh, joy. Well, at least I could shoot him from this far away. And that was glorious. Oh. I've alerted the horde. Yep, I've alerted the horde. No compatible weapons or ammunition equipped? Why did I do that? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh shit, oh god, oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh man, thank god for bad AI pathing. Oh my god, uh, it heard me. Me and my big mouth. Um, it appears that it has disappeared. Again. Where'd he go? Well, no matter. Oh, he's stuck there. Delicious. <laughs> and this narrow pathway, such great placement for nothing but traps. No, no, no. Am I really out of bullets right now? I got seven bullets. What's going on? No, you will not set up my... Damn it. Well, I guess that's one way to deal with them. Ow. Good thing I got so many of these things. They really do not like fire, do they? No, they do not. Which gives me an idea. Maybe I could set that one over there on fire. We do a little trolling. Finally, I get to use these pressure plate traps for something. Here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to make a funny. We're going to... We're going to make a funny. We're going to target. Target, come on. Come on. Come on. Flame on! And it completely missed, and now he's swatting me. Okay, okay. I, okay, I understand. That was totally my bad. That was totally my bad. Uh, equip, equip gun. Equip gun. Um, use. Iron scraps required. Okay, cool. Or he can just die to all my fire traps. Ow, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. He could just die to all my fire traps. And somehow I'm still alive. Hive Lord. More like a dead Lord. That was so nasty. Like, Jesus Christ. Why is the music still playing? I killed everyone. More or less. Did 
The operation was a moderate success. Prince Jaden is dead, but the queen is suspicious that our fall guy isn't the one responsible. Please note for the record that I thought disguising him as a member of the holy mission was a stupid idea. Yeah, think, buddy? Hmm. I've heard he's run off into the desert after the murder. If you find him or he returns to the base, shoot him. We can't have loose ends running around, the, around who aren't fully committed to this plan. It seems more like you guys just intended for him to get killed or made the fall guy all along. It may be months before we are ready for our final strike. Our lord does not believe our coup will succeed without either mass public support or the support of the majority of the army. We must redouble our efforts to make that happen. The screenshot feature of Good Will Games is busted right now. That's why I'm doing it the hard way. There's a lot resting on the shoulders of our guys in the burnt outpost in Enmerker. If they fail, they may there may end up being a lot of pressure on us out there. We need Old Levant to get the message. We don't negotiate with them. Find a clue inside the wooden outpost in the burnt forest in Enmerker South. I was just there, though. You want me to go back? Fine, I guess. Wow, this is kind of nasty. Why are you carrying so many alchemy kits? Wow. A shield depicting a fictional creature of great power. One that is common in street theater and children's books. Inflicts burning on shield charge. Huh. Well, well, well. Uh, I think the game's telling me something, chap. That's so cool. must once again return to Enmerker. I know what awaits me there, so this time I want to bring anti-fire armor. <laughs> so we must return to Levant, pick, go through, sift through our loot, our backpack once more, and return with the proper gear. Gotta say though, I was expecting a little bit something more from the Hive creatures. I didn't realize that they are basically just these in fact in this uh kind of necromantic like creatures, right? Although I did have to fight what was basically a Hulk, which was kinda cool. Alright, time to head back home. Or other home I should say. If I complete this quest properly. They'll give me a house for free, for real this time. So I believe it would be in my best interest to take them up on their most generous offer. Right after I bully this, uh, this, uh, hidden boy one more time. I wonder if I could sneak up on him and just cast the fire magic. Well, okay, so I was able to do it after all. Um, it didn't do much though, except to piss off the, piss it off and to set it on fire. Like a fool, I have once again not uh, hotkeyed my weapon of choice, so I can't even shoot him 
with a bullet right now, and I instead I am finding myself running for dear life as a very angry flaming beetle chases after me. This is so typical of my streams now that I'm not even surprised. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think I just want to see the world burn in a most literal for a most literal literal sense. On the bright side, plenty of stamina now. But oh man, that did not that did not assuage, that did not modify the creature. He is still angry. He is still chasing. Uh, he is running way too fast for me to reload another shot. Once again, I have used the counter move way too early and I end up being swatted. game sometimes all right then time to head back to Enmerker Forest I bringing with me chat first off let's sell this extra stuff then we'll head back want to buy some oh boy something tells me we better hold on to this since it's such a pain they asked to kill those things to begin with We'll need the Hecmanite later. So let's hold on to that. They sure pay a pretty penny for occult remains, don't they? As easy as those things were to kill. Who am I to judge? Give me your monies. I'm gonna be holding on to this though. Don't really need broad daggers, so don't use them. Looks like they're giving me a fair penny for all that good for all that good stuff. I'm good. While you're at it, give me your gold as well, huh? All right. Okay. I feel like something's missing somehow. We'll leave the dragon shield here for now. I'm not walking all the way to Shurzu to get my other stuff anyway. Give me all my gold, give me all my silver. I can't help but feel like I'm missing something here. Where are my shoes? What shoes was I carrying this whole time? 
Because there's the Pathfinder boots. Was I wearing the shoes this whole time? No. Can't be. Did they steal my shoes? I'm barefoot. Yes, it would appear that my shoes are missing. Somehow. I'm not going nuts. They really are not in my inventory anymore. For some reason. I wonder if I left them in town or whatever. I didn't sell them, did I? Want to buy some? Oh boy. Dude, where are my shoes? Oh my god. Did I sell my boot? Why am I running around barefoot? Seriously. Listen. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm not going nuts. They're not here. I didn't sell them to the shopkeeper or something. But that leads me to wonder, just where the fuck did my boots go? Like, I, I legit am confused and disturbed. Because if I didn't... Oh, you know what happened. I probably left them back in Enmerker Forest because I fought that uh, I fought that one guy, and he had boots. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, I understand now. Give me the boots then. All right. I guess we can afford to take a nap for now. Mix us some bitter spicy tea. Oh, spicy meringue. It's actually a lot easier to make than I thought. It's just two cacti and two eggs. That kind of makes sense now that I think about it. You use desert boots when you're there? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think it's gonna matter in my case just because I'm heading straight back home and I'm just gonna cut across the desert to save time. Do I have enough rations to get to head all back to the... Yeah. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Jimmy Bay. How are you doing tonight?
want to buy some oh boy okay now let's do it Ah, <laughs> <sighs> assassin bugs. No bueno. I don't feel like fucking with assassin bugs right now. Sure, a lot of assassin bug hurts around. For whatever reason. Hmm. Coat larva A restores stamina at a fairly quick rate. I should remember that in the future. I rarely eat Kothlar eggs. But now I have a reason. Must be all that protein. I see you there, and I don't feel like fighting you right now. Fairly quiet. Wonder if that guy is still waiting here. Or did he make a pro do a pro dummy movement and try to go back to the meeting point? It's no longer there, so I guess not. Good for him, I guess. No, you're still here? Hmm. Wait, what? This. Pretty red to that. Listen, can you help with. Wait, 
How dare you? Wait, what? This. <laughs> Listen, can you help with this? This is troubling. How dare you? Hmm. All right, I guess you could just chill there then. You're no use. You're not useful to me anymore. Back to Enmer Core Forest we go, chat. I didn't expect to be going from one city to another so often in one stream, but here we are. Just because I'm really tired of Bandit's shit right now. Iron scraps required, huh? Yeah. Uh, them getting shot with a freaking gun is gonna hurt anyway. I see him. I see y'all there. Three of them. What a pain in the ass. It's a mage over there. But a shield, no less. tempted to go hunter class now as much as I use, use and abuse bows in this game and it's glitching out no bueno there we go oh it's not glitching out I see what's going on it's just out of stamina okay Really? That's so satisfying when it works. At least I have something to sell the stalls when I get back home. Or, not really home, but back to town. Alternatively, I'll strip you guys of your garbage apart for parts. That seems like a good idea. Can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that either. That sucks. So many arrows wasted. Catch this. Turn this off. I appreciate that, unlike some other games, when you arm these things with the special ammunition, it stays armed. Speak of the devil. More night fighting for me, I guess. Let's take out the archer first. Now for the halberdier. Or I can miss. That, that's fine too. Second time is a charm. Third time hits the wrong person. Ah. 
Oh. I don't have my guns loaded. I don't have any stamina either. Lost just swell. Wasted that as well. When you just do not want to take any shit from anyone, there's always shooting people with a gun. But when you absolutely, positively, 100% do not want to fuck with someone right now. Things have been hard since I became a Jedi, man. You don't have the stamina I had before. It's so difficult now. I still hold that using guns in this game is kind of a crutch. But, eh. When all else fails, use the gun. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? More of you guys? You do not want me to have a good day right now, do you? Fine. And he's set on fire. Alright, I can handle you. That's what I was saying. Fuck! Oh my god. Considering how things started off terribly earlier in today's stream, with me getting my ass repeatedly gangbanged by bandits of all people, this is... feels so good right now. Have a problem with someone? Just blow them away. Good thing I set this stream to mature rated. Also, make crafting this gun was worth every silver. Alright. Let's head back home. Or back to Enmerker as it is, as it were. Hmm? Since I'm already here, I guess what I should do instead is just go straight, straight to the outpost. Might as well. We're going the wrong direction. Hmm. Oh, because we're over here in Abrasar. We need to go south.
<clears throat> More of you bastards, really? Uh, not, not right now. I've had my fill of bandits for the time being. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and head to the burning for burning tree. See the Cabal de Wind Tower in the distance, which means we're going in the right direction. Come on, come on, you can make it. There we go. Is that mineable? It is. We really need some more bandages, don't we? Almost neglected that. And that would have been bad. Just then. Got plenty of spikes. Is that chest always there? Hmm. Bolt rag, but otherwise nothing of worth. Huh? Oh, the moment there, I thought there was something special about that. Here's the burning tree. If I crawl correctly, there are some of those possessed zombie things around here as well. So you have to stay vigilant. Ow! What the fuck? Just come out of nowhere and just shoot me like that? Oh, are you fucking serious? Right with me right now. Oh man, that was harrowing. Just pop out of fucking nowhere. Stay say. You come into my house, suck my dick, and call me gay, and guess who's dead now? That's right thought so. Oh my god, there's two of you. You assholes for real right now? I fucking hate you so much. If I didn't know better, I'd almost say that the CPU does that on purpose. Just waits for you to fuck up your Good thing I have so much stamina right now, or this would be kind of a problem. Well, it's still a problem anyway because I'm losing health way too fast.
I really need those fucking monk skills, man. I am way too slow with the claymore. Like, way too slow. You can't efficiently block and trade blows without buffing the shit out of yourself. Where am I now? Oh, no. Why'd you have to spawn me back here? And I'm cursed. It's just brilliant. Yes, thank you, game. Strange that it teleported me back in near the Vigil Tower, though. Automaton? What a sick joke. Yes, hello. I see you there, and you see me. Let's get this over with. When mon regular monsters are easier to kill than humans, I'm getting concerned. Another one, huh? That ought to be interesting. When it works, it works. And it's glorious. Oh, so these are the beast golems. Interesting. I could use... If only they dropped more beast golem scraps for me to harvest. They do drop everything else though. My food gone again. Looks like it.
Where is the burnt tree? In this general direction, yes. We're in the right direction. I see it now, the giant burning tree. Ah! That was unexpected. Cast some spells. What boon do I have this time? Mist? That's not bad. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and do our job. Of course, we'll need to make it to the bandits hideaway without fucking up again, so... Give it a good... Do you have a 50 chance that we'll make it? I'm willing to bet that the obsidian, the, the fire elementals have returned. Fighting those things again will be most enjoyable. There she is. That son of a bitch. Did I miss? Yeah, I did. I totally did. Ow. Forgot you probably should be using cold magic against this. Did I fucking just die again? Fuck's sake. Hmm. Where am I now? No, I don't want to be fucking resp- Oh my god. Here. Again.
amount of tea. We're back, back again, this time, I'm going to make sure I win, I really don't want to make that journey again, in the same stream, no less. Not just because it's embarrassing, but because I'm getting kind of tired of making that journey twice over. I know I'm used to getting my face bashed in, but this is kind of ridiculous. It gets me- Oh, what? Oh. Hi there. Most of these things also explode if you're not careful. Or something. I'm like doing no damage to it either. Concern. Honestly though. So annoying to deal with. I guess I should atro uh, avoid trying to even fight this thing and just do my job that I'm here to do. But when I lose to one of these monsters, more often than not, it makes me stubborn to want to fight them until I kill them again. I get worse when it's something I've killed before, with relative ease. That should be enough, right? I'm just kidding. It's never enough. You never can never use enough of anything. So you know what? So I'm also going to 
also going to drink some water. I'm also going to use some boons. Just use fucking everything, in fact. Alright. Let's do this. Fucking elementals. Now, was that overkill? Yes, but it's dead. It's dead. That's all that matters. Dead until it respawns later and later when I leave this map, but dead nonetheless. Hopefully the last time I'll need to enter this burned outpost. And I think the game encourages you to overkill. Alright, so where is it? Where's the clue? Here it is. Our lord has made his move. Deal with the old Levant problem swiftly and keep attention on... Endworker! Oh, you have picked the wrong time to fuck with me. I'm having a hell of a day right now. And I just fucked that up again. Good thing all my boons are active. Like, all my boons. kill these guys too what the hell did they respawn like in 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 the world honestly give me your garbage so i can make some iron scrap please my god. Yep, it's the desert people, alright. Not like we didn't already determine that earlier in the game. More stuff to sell. Yep, it's wood. Petrified wood, no less, though. We can sell that for some buns. Because I already built my a petrified wood set. I don't really need another. From the snake, her loyalties do not align with ours. Do not take any chances because she was... Just because she was involved in this operation. I doubt she would approve if she realized our lord responsible for Prince Jaden's murder. Send word to keep an eye on the Levant slums back home. I worry that some of the people there know what, what we're using the smuggling tunnel for. Crack down on any known information peddlers. My god. Information peddlers, huh? I think I know who they're talking about. Thanks for the Firestones, nerds. Not. We gotta stop by Burger though. That sunrise is so glorious. 
even after the other ass whooping I have received once again received from this game. It is so cool to look at. Now I need any more petrified wood. Nope, nope. Resist the urge. Resist the urge. guns too much in this game normally I'd say yes but right now I don't care that much let's head back to Berg and deal with this oh not the burning men why am I carrying a saber anyway Oh, fucking hell. Fine, fine, fine. Uh, that doesn't make things better. Boy, I do not have time for your shit right now. Seriously. The nerve that these guys have sometimes. Shaking my head. Three forty one. Time sure flies when I'm playing this game. Not three in the morning, but it's been three hours and forty one minutes. It's about a half past twelve. It's not too late yet. Late enough to be noticeable though. The last of my jeweled meat. Let us go. Let us frolic. Going the wrong direction. We're way off course. Yeah, we're way off course. We need to go more northward. Oh, glory. I remember that we can actually go to sleep in this tent. Let me do just that. And we'll make our way to Berg the next day.
Hopefully the game will not mind if I take a nice breather. Savage 2 is great. Cooked alpha meat and jerky. stuff here though. I don't have the room right now to carry that stuff with me. We have things to sell back home or back in town. Hopefully this will be the last leg of the journey. Heading back, talking to the slum lords or talking to the uh, people in the slums. We're here. We need to head north. I really should have eaten breakfast while I was inside there. <laughs> Most of these things are not edible, unfortunately. I do have some water, which should help a little bit. And a spiny meringue. So far so good. No giants or other beasts of burden distracting me from my current goal. I'm gonna be streaming tonight until we finish this quest just because it's so long. So much running back and forth between towns too. It's insane. Like, really insane. There's the city gates, though. So, it won't be long now. I gotta say, crafting this gun was worth it. Totally. Hey, Sleepy Kato. Happy streaming. Thank you so much. Today's stream has been on and off. Been having a lot of L's. In my adventures today but this is one of those things that if you are persistent you will succeed eventually so I think we're on the up and up right now now having jinxed myself 
I can only imagine what's going to happen next. How are you doing tonight? What can I do for you? Do I dare? Do I dare become a wild hunter and just use nothing but axes? Next extreme bleeding based and perhaps red filled. This worries me. Poutine. I need to head back to the marshlands to finish my training because this is kind of a little bit hard, a little bit ridiculous. Hey there. All right then. Do you have any crafting recipes that I can use? A fang greatsword? That sounds interesting. I wonder if it's better than my current weapon though. How does a horbo need to be built? Thorny Claymore. Room boots.
to Warbow? Really that strong? Inflicts confusion is kind of insane, actually. It makes it very difficult for enemies to even defend themselves. Show me the claymores. What else did this teach me to make? I know what this is. I think I actually. Or I used to have these things. Are there any more trainers in town? Aside from Teleron? Flay's the Sage Trainer. So, not many, I guess. <sighs> How can I help you? God damn. I already have an arcane hood. So we can sell this. How can I help you? That's a little bit more room in my pack. But only just a little. Yari Yari does he? Hmm. Thank you. Kind of tempted to just use not use the pirate grade hammer and nothing else. But I know that's not a good idea. Here's where my petrified wood boots went. By comparison with my current stuff, it's actually not much better. Better against the cold, I guess. Heat Desert Tunic's kind of insane, too. Let 
well and truly. Freeze to death out there. This would have been better against fire. I also left my desert boots in the... over... damn it. Not again. Figures that would happen. Every time you think you've done something out of convenience, it actually just makes things harder for you. Jerky is rotted? I didn't even know I had jerky. Which is really saying something, I think. Indigestion? I thought this was cooked. For fuck's sake. Oh, no. I can't even drink any water. This is not good. going.
All right. You okay, dude? Hey, listen. Oh, well, thanks. Hmm, didn't expect that. No way. Well, thanks, Roland. Didn't expect to run into you here. Apparently, I can make armor out of this thing? Out of resin? Interesting. Hey there! Need something? We'll hold on to it for now. Do I have enough food to do this? Enough rations? Or did I leave them all? Uh, I guess not. Let's purchase some before we leave. Now we can make our way over. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Following this quest has been really long, really drawn out. 
so much back and forth. Hey, Pastel, how are you tonight? So many dead bodies have left in my wake, though. So it's not all bad. How's my gun doing? Oh, no. It's falling apart. I need to repair this. Oh, you've been here just for a while. I see. Oh, I steal. Glad you're awake again. I thought you were going to run off, you dumbass. Guess not, huh? Thanks for the head pats. I'm starting to burn out a little bit, not going to lie. It's only because of a string of failures earlier in the uh, stream. Oh, for fu crying out loud, can you leave me alone? I didn't do that much. went suitably better than last time, that's for sure. I think I'm getting way too fond of using guns in this game. <laughs> when you absolutely, positively need to kill some motherfucker, except no substitutes. Thank you for the head pets. Alternatively, make lots and lots of spicy meringue because that's apparently the key to recovering all your health and stamina. And it's not like their ingredients are hard to come by either. I've just not been being I've just not been very thorough lately in collecting ingredients. I am getting a little careless, which is also adding to my grief, I'm sure. This is one of those games that you really cannot afford to get lazy. You know what they say? Failure to prepare is preparing to fail. I am interested in what the end of this uh, particular mission tree is going to be like, if only because it's been taking a while. I need eggs. Where the hell am I gonna find eggs from? Some insects, I guess. 
There's two specimens right there. Thank you for the head pads, save one. I believe I left my dragon shield back in Levant, right? Yeah. Don't think I don't see you there, asshole. Both of you. I know you're awaiting. That one's awake. Sneak up on you so I can tuck into bed later. Well, I appreciate that. Do I have all my gold with me? Good. Because I'm gonna learn fucking cold bullets after all. The more skills I can learn without locking myself in anywhere, the better. I just thought a pro game remove, which I didn't think to do, because I was trying to not copy Seth, and it appears that I left my other gun in back in Sirzo. Great. Alright. Alright. There we go. Thank you. Three spicy meringue added. sword is starting to fall apart as well. Oh, 
Onwards to the slums. Been a while since I've been down here. Pigeon Eye. Pigeon Eye would probably know if someone was trying to target him. Right. See you. Listen up. Anything interesting touch in the You buy it. Oh. You touch. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Mm. You touch it. You buy it. Hmm. Horror chitin. I think I could actually use that. Wolf played full helm with four eyes. Glorious. And these super claymores. And a super halberd. She doesn't pay that much, does she? Do I even need any have anything that requires horror chitin? I probably do. Spidosaur tail. I do. I can actually make this disgustingly strong axe with that horror chitin. You touch it, you buy it. Give me your horror chitin, lady. Give it to me. Turn, I'll give you all this junk that I don't need. Ara, ara. Let me try it again. <coughs> It's probably not much better, but all right. At least I can make a horror axe when I finally get back to Shurzo. That's a disgusting axe, too. What the hell? I got plenty of palladium and occult remains back home. And if I don't have any occult remains back home, I know where to find them. I know who to kill for him. So that's no longer an issue. Is there anything else here I could buy, though? Nope. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you? I'm glad you did. Weird. There needs to be a trainer here. What can I do yeah, for a you? Rogue trainer. These are insane. It's 
quite obvious to me now that the key to beating enemies is to finish one of these classes up. I see it all from up here. The good, the bad, the bad dream is barely holding together. I see it all from up here. The good, the bad. Okay, it's not the bad dream is barely holding together. Meaning it's someone else down here that I need to speak with. It's not him. It's not you. And who could it be? Need to speak with an information peddler. Someone here does that. I need to remember who. Unless it's the man living in the wheelbarrow. Which I well not a wheelbarrow in the uh, barrel. Greetings, friend. Can you lend me a hand? Farewell, my friend. <laughs> Alright, so it's not him. Marcus? Pigeon Eye? Could it be Marcus? Because Pigeon Eye didn't have any options to talk with him. Not dawn, Listen so. up. You touch it, you buy it. <gasps> Not you. What could I do for you? It's not sticks. Who could it be? looks important. I heard one of the guards say something about reporting to his boss in the Hive prison that the Corsairs sometimes use for interrogations. I'm not sure if he knows who uses that. Come on. I already went through... The evidence of a plot within Levant's mountain. Cyrene would be very interested in this information the next time you're in Levant. Alright, so it is definitely the Baron. Find a priest who fled into the desert. Find a clue inside the small hive prison in South Avasar, North of Vars Hive. Find a clue inside the wooden outpost in the bird forest in Emmerichur South. Find a clue in Levant's slums in Avasar. I found a clue in the slums. I should check the small hive prison south of Avasar, but I haven't done so already. I already did that. Talk to Cyrene in the city of Levant in the Avasar Desert. Alright. I see it all from up here. The good, the bad. The van dream is barely holding together. Time to talk to Cyrene again. <sighs> you have something about the murder of Prince Jaden. Don't just stand there, spill it! This is... I can't avoid this conclusion any longer. Prince Pietro, what in a lot's name were you thinking? 
Based on what we've found, it seems like Prince Pietro has been plotting oh a coup. Oh my god. We need to move on the pair of them. Are you ready to go now? We're gonna flush them out of that smuggler's tunnel. Come on, let's roll. Oh boy. Here we go. Should have probably brought heavier equipment. Just cast all the buffs. Wait, am I going by myself? Where the fuck is Serene? Well, whatever. Okay, that's ready. Going to go ahead and use <sighs> Oh, what the fuck? Is that it? Find Pietro under Levant's... So we have to... I have to kill my way through here, right, and find Pietro? Okay. I've killed everyone in this tunnel before. What's doing it a second time? Or a third time? Did you just teleport? All right. I know when I'm beaten. That was easy. Do I look like I stand a chance against the two of you? My parents have grown soft. Olavant's an existential threat to us, and he still wants to become welcome people to join us. My my brother was too nosy. It was nothing personal. Never. I won't let those who pledge their loyalty to me die for nothing. I won't resist. I'm not stupid. Finally, after all of that struggle, I really hope to give me a house to live in. Oh my god.
Cyrene told us about your work bringing down Pietra's plot against us. An example must be made of him. That's what the firing squad is for. Dang. Now they're gonna be childless. Not to mention he was planning to kill us both. We raised him to be better than this. This weighs on my mind. We had troops waiting at every entrance of those tunnels. He didn't get far. It appears he was putting pressure on many of our merchants as well. You deserve this! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, we finally got his manner from that asshole. Thanks a lot, Bo. Thanks a lot, uh... King. Literal King. I love it when a plan comes together, chat. All those deaths were not meaningless. Excellent! And don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. Apparently it's possible to fail this quest, but... Eh. <laughs> Let's check out our new digs. Whoa. There's a bath over here in the main entrance. Hit alchemy kit. A wardrobe I can't use. Some bullets. A stash. Wait a minute. Oh, that's sweet. And they could e they even teach me how to cook Diadem de Denver or whatever the hell you call that? A full kitchen? Run fast without pause. Just needs... Two kinds of meat. Salt and cacti. Let's see what the upstairs is like. Yeah. All that struggle and I finally got a house of my own all the way here. Comes with a scarab, a scarab mask. I got myself a new helmet. Twenty resists against impacts. Got two beds here. And a dagger. All right, chat, it's time to move in. Literally, time to move in. Hey, Goody, how you doing? <laughs> I can't believe I finally, finally, finally got this goddamn house. It took so long. Time to go pick up all my stuff from the outside. We are no longer going to be living on the streets of Levant. Get all crap back. Including my tent. Including my camp stove and also 
my alchemy kit. Doing all right, 2.35 a.m. and suddenly got the urge to turn on the PC and stream. So you're just updating your games right now? It's 2.35 a.m. where you are? Oh, it's 1.35 where I am. I'm actually thinking about calling it a night after I put the stuff away. Finally. Put everything back in. There we go. Dang. Is there any more? Oh, no way. There's actually a passage here to the Undercity. So I can just go take a shortcut out of the... the Baron's entrance that they were talking about. We could just open that out. I don't even remember. I've not been down here before. Whew! What a mess. I have a feeling I'm going to get myself killed if I go any further down here. An ornate chest? All the way down here? What's inside? Uh... Oh! An assassin sword? Huh? Or a recipe for an assassin sword? Just requires one assassin tongue, a steel saber, and some palladium. That's not that bad. I don't have any regular sword skills though, so this is of very limited use to me. You know, I find it funny that there's a pansexual tag but not an omnisexual, just random thought by Goody. <laughs> Will I fall to my doom? Is there anything here? What just happened? This must be a new dungeon or something that I had didn't previously have access to. Oh. This room looks different too. Gather clean water.
gonna be Kurt Bell. Cat, with our mission successfully completed tonight, once again, we are gonna go ahead and call it an evening here. Go ahead and find someone to raid tonight, huh? Thank you all for coming once again. Always a pleasure. For all the raids and all the follows as well. <laughs> Are you now? <laughs> Five minutes left of Paladin's update. I'm not sure if I can make it one way another five minutes, unfortunately. <laughs> Could do that. Let me know when you go online and I'll just send everyone, everyone to you next. So I'm about to fall asleep here. I have to get ready for bed. My sleeping habits lately have been trash. Oh, mm -hmm. it's been a while, hasn't it? Yikes, not as many viewers tonight. Ah, five viewers is all right, I suppose. Mm -hmm. As usual, our raid call is Lol's raid. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'll see you guys on Friday. We are going to be doing a collab with Tank Bear Claw. We're going to be playing some TMNT.